hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to create admin middleware in laravel so let's get started so we'll open our code so as you had seen in the previous video we made the middleware for auth so where we can uh, access this page only after the logging in so we'll see so we have logged in here so we are able to access the blog page you can reload and check we are there in this so here we are able to add the blog so i want to make a system where only the admin should be able to add the blog and the users will be just able to view this blog so how do we do that so first you have to create a role as we have to give the permission for the users so first we just add that column here so here we'll just add a table after password i mean a column so So we'll give here role underscore as we'll keep it worker or let's keep it tiny int itself tiny integer length default will give as defined and that will be zero okay length let us not give because I have given tiny int I'll give save and it is created so we'll just add this in our migrations also so that we don't face any issues in future go here app database migrations and the users table is here okay so here after password we have given so let's add it here roll underscore as and give here tiny tiny integer okay so save it and close this file so now let us go here and for the admin we'll just make it one here okay so make one so when normal user register it will be zero so here now we'll go and create a middleware so give here php artisan make middleware and let us name it admin middleware okay admin middleware hit enter so middleware created successfully so let us go and check you will find that in your app http and middleware here so you can see admin middleware is created here so here we have to add some code so you can just get it from this website fund of abit i will put this link in the description so instead of typing we'll just take it from here so just copy this and let's copy along with the function copy go to your code and paste it here okay so here what we are saying is auth check if it is logged in the auth users role as column is equal to equal to admin it's written here we have given as one so let us put here one so if the role as column has the value one then just proceed or else return to home with the status access denied so this will be the session message which will be showing here else if it is not logged in here it will show please log in first okay so now just save this so once you created a new middleware you have to register it in the kernel.php here so let's go there and check so here we have to register it uh, it must be somewhere here okay so this is the one route middleware where we have auth and all so we'll be adding it here below put it in this and let us write is admin okay and just call the path of that so we'll be using this just copy and paste it so what was the our middleware name it was admin middleware okay it's here admin middleware this is nothing but app http middleware folder and inside that admin middleware we are adding here so save and close it so now we have successfully created a middleware so now let us test it so go to your web.php and create another group here 
like we had created for the user so here we'll be creating for the admin route group middleware is is admin whatever we had given in the kernel.php where we had registered it so i just want this you where it is logged in only the user we should be able to view the blog page and he must not be able to add the add any blog or add save or edit or delete it so i'll give all that permissions to the admin only so now let us check we'll go to our website and reload so you can see uh, because we have given the rights here as one we have given here role as so we can add the blog here because we are the admin now okay there's some issue let us check so open the code and it is showing an error for auth so let us import this class import class class is imported now let us reload and check I go reload and yes so here it is done so now let us log out and register a new user so we'll have here register register as a uh, keep Dennis name Dennis at gmail dot com password and register okay he has been logged in so now let us go to the blog page and as we had given the access there so we'll be able to do this so when we try to add the blog it has to redirect back to the same page or to the home page we have written there to the home page with the message so access denied as you are not the admin so we had given that code here in the admin middleware here so in this video we have seen how to create admin middleware and restrict pages from the users only to the admin so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you